as though he threw it where he could. Tommy Irish again at right. Roger Wilson climbs and takes and takes a step forward as well. So that's good line out play by the number eight. Ryan Caldwell is the ball carrier for Ireland. Tackle from Latimer, Craig West, Hayden Triggs in there. Now it's Frank Murphy who gets the ball out to Andrew Farley. Well over 18 stones. And now Frank Murphy goes on the blind side and he's got support outside of it's Johnny O'Connor. And this is good from Ireland A again. Chris Smiley makes the initial tackle and Latimer is there in support. Frank Murphy gets it to Johnny Sexton once more into the midfield to Andrew Farley. Yet again, using those gargantuan forwards to rumble the ball forward. Murphy looks inside for support from Wilson, and it's good continuity from the Irish side here. Inside the 22 to Keith Earls, Ross McCarran outside, Ryan Caldwell supporting, and now Caldwell goes. Try against Canada. Tremendous prospect. Murphy gets it outside to Paul McKenzie, and McKenzie is well tackled by Tahana. Good phase of possession and pressure from the Irish side. Keith Earls, Keith Earls is through. Great try for Ireland. Eh? Both centres have now scored. They've looked very sprightly and nippy at the Irish midfield so far tonight. Well, beautiful footwork there by Earls. We've already talked about Darren Cave, his performance this year in the under-26 nations. His man on the man of the moment, Keith Earls, manages to get himself over the line as well. Lovely bit of footwork, and it was the end of a really good sustained piece of possession by the Irish. As we see, happy to step in and fly off on a really, really good footwork. Ormsby couldn't make the tackle. Super try by the Irish and a real good response. As you say, electric footwork from Keith Earl.